Okay, guys. Now let's solve this problem. Now let's. It's, it's kind of interesting and very important too. 66 cubic centimeters of silver is drawn into a wire 1 millimeter in diameter. The length of the wire in meters will be. That is the question. So they ask you the length of the wire that from where the silver is actually drawn. So remind you in all this kind of problems one thing the first thing you should produce is uh, the image of the geometric shape in your mind whatever uh, kind of problem this they, they are providing with the natural type of examples but there is definitely a kind of shape in there now the shape in this case that is emerging in your mind should be it's a shape of wire so wire if you zoom in wire little bit amount what kind of shape you can you can see you can see a shape like this remember the kind of this so this shape is it should be straight it should be parallel but whatever the shape is like this simply called as remember cylinder or cylindrical say, shape so once you know that wire is a cylinder it becomes so much easier because you know the formula for cylinder to calculate volumes so once you know and, and you, you can also know to calculate this this height right because the height is simply this h right and we don't know this h so this is the question what is h but we know rest of the things we know uh, we know the volume right we know the volume here the volume in this case is provided and the volume it says 66 cubic centimeter centimeter cube right right and what they also provide they also provide the diameter diameter means this whole length so the diameter diameter is also provided it's found to be one millimeter right so they also provide all these things so one millimeter is the diameter so if this is a diameter so what we need to calculate diameter means 2r so we need to calculate the radius because radius is required for our calculation a radius means diameter divided by 2 because radius is equals to r so if we have diameter of 1 divided by 2 we get our radius this millimeter but we also need to convert the unit to centimeter because everything here is in centimeter so millimeter to centimeter we simply here multiply it with 10 here in the in bottom so we get 1 by 20 centimeter is as a radius for them right so we get the value of radius which is 1 by 20 centimeter we get the volume here right so we need to calculate the h right so we get everything except for h now let's let's form the formula the formula for volume remember volume of a cylinder volume of a cylinder how to calculate that the so volume of a cylinder equals to equals to pi remember pi r square h right and it is equals to here it is equals to the volume is provided remember 66 right so here the value of pi we all know the value of pi is simply 22 by 7 and r square here is remember r is 1 by 20 so let's put 1 by 20 and 1 by 20 because square means the r into r so r into r is 1 by 20 into 1 by 20 into h equals to 66 another important tip i want to share with you that in all this kind of geometrical problem you should never uh, do multiplication or or everything at the very first stage do everything at the end of your equation it will help you to solve the problem much more quicker so once you get this this idea so what we need to construct here let's construct h equals to here will be 66 on top into it will be 20 into 20 into it will be 7 and in the bottom it will only be 22 imagine I haven't gone through any any kind of uh, simplification there once you get your everything arranged then only go for simplification and now as everything is arranged I'll go for a simplification and the simplification will give us 11 10 and it will give us 6 right so what is going to be the answer it's 200 and it is 42 so 42 into 200 will be 8400 0, 0. so this is going to be it so 84 thousand centimeter.
8400 centimeter and it is actually equals to let if we co uh, convert into meter it will be so if it's required or not let's see yeah the answers are given here is in actually in meters i guess so let's convert it into meters if we we'll convert it into meter divided by 100 100 division so we get 84 meters right so the answer is 84 meter so the height of this it is 84 meters so the length of the wire is 84 meter and here we go the option a is telling us that yes the length is 84 meter so h is equals to 84 meter in this case that's how you can calculate remember once you imagine the geometrical shape it becomes so much easier guys so that's how you can solve these problems and i hope that's helpful thank you